Hi there, my name is Mark. I'd like to share a few thoughts with you that were triggered after a conversation with a very pleasant and inspiring man. He had gone over my blog, um, seen some of my personal entries about my health condition and the process of preparing to die, which I uh, described in the book, The Year. And he said, but Mark, what has happened since then? You just left us hanging. And so with this short video, I'd like to give you an update. I've been diagnosed with a medical condition uh, that is very painful. And since the age of nine, I've, I've had to live with strong, constant pains due to inflammations, ripping of, of tendons and muscles. And without going into the medical aspect, you can imagine that this is most challenging. And over the years, I have come to peace with this illness. And yet, of course, it's exhausting. And uh, a few years ago, I found myself with strong inner bleeding in a hotel room in Jerusalem during a field trip. And at that moment, I was aware I could die if I now fall asleep, um, because I was getting unconscious, etc. And I wasn't ready to let go. And this was surprising, because if you had asked me, Mark, are you ready to die? Uh, I, I had put extensive thought into this. Um, it didn't take me by surprise. And yet at that moment, I wasn't able to let go. And this was uncomfortable or unpleasant, unwanted. And so I started a journey of, of asking myself, why couldn't I let go in that moment? Or in other words, how can I learn to die? Now, if you want to do it a not wise way is you Google that. It doesn't lead you to very many helpful insights. You, you find the weirdest of stuff. Um, and so instead of Googling, I decided to embark on, on my own journey. I went into silence. I did a lot of reading, a lot of reflection, tracking fears and what they stand for, their meaning is, etc. And in short, at the end of this nine, ten month process, I remember standing at a beautiful rose garden in Bern and realizing, yep, I've done the work, I've received the gifts, I don't think it was all work, um, and now I'm ready to let go, I'm ready for what comes after life. And at the same moment, my thought was, and now I'm ready to live. It was one and the same conscious thought or recognition. And this re realization, I want, I can live, I may die, both isn't a polarity, it belongs together, gave me an incredible freedom to receive gift, uh, life truly as a gift. And if there are no alternatives than living, because dying isn't an option, moving on isn't an option, then it was at least my experience that I lost the lightness. I lost the aspect of, or well, I tended to lose it, that this life is an enormous gift. The thoughts that I find most crippling is the imagination of living another two months with these, these crippling pains that I have 15, 18 hours a day. The thought that this never ends is immensely burdensome and, and, and overwhelming. But this process of, of learning to die and a lot of the other work that I've done in terms um, of learning to be in the present, in the now, recognizing the past is gone and the future hasn't come yet, so all we're, le all we're left with is, is now. This has really given me a lot of new freedom and, and also freed up a capacity to deal with what I have now without worrying about how it will be tomorrow if I face the same pains, which I most certainly will or most probably will, but tomorrow isn't here yet. And so this, this process, is, as cheesy as it sounds, together with focusing even more on what makes my day pleasurable, what gives me the smile, what do I find meaningful, what, what do I want to dare to embark on, um, no matter what fears are around and, and good reasons not to, this has enabled me to, to continue doing things that I didn't think I'd have the energy to do. Of course, there are days where it's difficult to lecture, to do workshops um, because of my physical weakness, because of the pain or side effects from, from medication. But often I do have enough to 
energy and, and presence to, to contribute in some way to, to work, to meeting friends or family or to something else. And so I, I live in the awareness that it could be over at any time and then I'm curious and, and looking forward to what comes next after this life, not knowing but curious and holding life as lightly as that as well. I don't know how long this gift, this ride will continue, but today I'm doing my best to make it meaningful, to make it beautiful, to accept the pains and challenges and sorrows and burdens, and at the same time to create room for the mystic, for beauty, and to, em and to embark more and more on that journey of sharing this with others, contributing where I can and continuing to learn. If you have any questions, I, I'm aware this is a rather personal uh, blog for a, for a professional website, um, but this is me. Um, and if you have any questions that it's triggered, I warmly invite you to get in contact with me um, and to, to share your thoughts on this. I'd be more than happy to hear any comments that you want to drop below. All the best and thank you very much.